Hi guys, welcome back to K-Pop and Curls. It's been so long. I am so sorry. I just had to take a mental break because it was too much for me to handle. I don't know why I did that like well, I'm about to break my neck. Okay. Um, it was just too much for me to handle um a lot. Trying to get some stuff together for a lot of things happening behind the scenes. So, um, sorry that I've been gone, but I missed you guys so much. We have subscribers coming in and I'm just like, what? That's crazy. Like, whoa. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because that's great. We can be like a happy little like family. We can just chill and talk about two things we love, which is hair and K-pop and everything in between skincare k dramas maybe c dramas which i just got into this year and like today we are going to be talking about a korean survival show that is popping right now if you're not watching this you live under a rock if you're not watching this i'm gonna need you to start watching it stop Actually, finish watching this video and then start watching what I'm about to talk about today, which is Island. Island, yes, oh my God. My sister, thank God for my sister because I wouldn't have been put on. Thank you, big hit. Thank you for not only putting out BTS, Thank you. Back in 2013, that was the best thing that Big Hit has ever done. That that was the best decision Big Hit has ever made. Now Toxic Army comes with that and it's kind of like a evil trade-off when you're dealing with Toxic Army members. But moving forward, that was the first best decision that Big Hit has ever made. The second best decision that Big Hit has ever made was putting Pletus underneath their company. And the third best decision that Big Hit has ever made, I know I'm skipping one big thing and I know some people are gonna hate me for it. I'm not gonna say what that one thing is because I'm gonna, I, I'm, but the third best thing is creating island. All right, so this video is gonna be in no particular order. This is just gonna be me voicing my opinions about island and really just carving out what my expectations of island is and how excited I am for the rest of this show. Starting off, I want to discuss my biases. So I only have truly one bias in this group and I instantly picked this person after the second episode of Island. And if you are just getting into Island, um, I know some of you have DM'd me and said that you don't know what the heck Island is. If you're just now getting into it, um, you can look on Vicky.com. I think it's Vicky.com, Rakuten? Okay, well, you can look at Vicky.com, I believe, and um, you can watch it through there. And I think there's other ways to watch it. I feel like Naver would have it too. But um, anyway, point is, when you watch Island, I want you to pay close attention to this boy because I truly feel that he is strong, a leader. Um, he has the visuals. He has the dancing down packed, the singing down packed. This, honestly, he gives me... Junghyun, he gives me Jungkook and everything else with visuals and everything else. Just singing, dancing, his strings, all that. So this is why I like this person. And this person is Hee-sun. I love Hee-sun. I want him to definitely move on to be an island because he was supposed to be in TXT and don't know how that didn't work out and I wonder if Big Hit was like no we're gonna find a group that he son fits perfectly into that gives more of this aura that we want him to embody because you know a lot of groups come out with their theme or their the aura of the group is quite different amongst k-pop groups um so I feel like maybe Big Hit said hold on just just give us one second and they gave us TXT and then they said, 
island. This is what it's gonna be. He son, this is your time. You better show up and show out. And I believe he is showing up and showing all the way out. Y'all, please pay attention to he son. He is, I want him to debut. <laughs> A second person that I just got onto, cause I, I'm honestly shocked. I, when I first saw him, I was just like, mm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> and then when I saw him like perform, I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And that's K. Honestly, bias number two. And I say bias because I truly believe these people are gonna debut an island. It would be a huge slap in my face, the disrespect if his son and K does not debut an island. Um, I feel like K has strong dancing he's just a very strong dancer he reminds me of Kai and I don't say that because Kay and Kai that would actually be an amazing duo can we do that for the mama awards huh Kay is an amazing dancer he embodies the dance his facials are everything he gives you all of his everything when he's dancing and I'm here for it. So typically I only have two biases. So that's why we're gonna move on to who I want to debut because I feel like biases versus who I want to debut, they're, they're totally different. Biases are people that I'm focusing in on and you know I support that person, whatever. Who I want to debut support the whole group and I, I feel that they would be strong together and they would bring out the best in each other. Okay, so let's move on to who I want to debut. But I first wanna say that what I don't really like about the show Island is that if the boys aren't really starting drama, which is like reality show, if you're not starting drama or if you're not really hitting on nothing, they're not gonna show you. And I feel like if they show you, they're not gonna show you a lot. And you're just a background character. And some of these boys, I just don't really know. There's 23 boys in this show and I feel like I've only connected with six of them. No, that's purposeful because I truly feel like whoever they're they're hitting on the most, they're trying to get you emotionally attached, they're trying to get you like them so they could either one not debut them and then everybody gets upset and it stirs up like emotion and you know people are tweeting and you know it gets hype around the show or two they plan to debut them because we all know these people are going to debut but i feel like those people who are left in the background maybe because they haven't shown their skill yet we still have some more episodes to come out so you know maybe they're just waiting to show their talent i'm ready for the rap episode i i love a good rapper in a group i'm still waiting on that but as far as what I know now and who I want to debut, um, I want he son to debut. I want K to debut. I want Taki to debut. We'll get to Taki in a minute. Um, see, I'm back and forth about Nikki. Part of me really sees him as an amazing solo artist. He's so young that I think he needs time to grow and see the value in other people's opinions. So either he, that would make him a trainee for longer or he could branch out and be a solo artist. Nikki's an amazing dancer and I think if you're gonna have Island be that group where the dancing is stellar, because they seem to be honing in a lot on the dancing and singing right now, um, you gotta put Nikki in the group because you're not first off, you're not showing a lot of people. <laughs> and then who you are showing, they're getting a lot of screen time and Nikki just seems to be the one that people, oh, and then he was also like painted as a villain at some point in this show. We're gonna put Nikki to the side. We're just gonna, I truly feel in my heart that he could be a G-Dragon. <laughs> like he could be that solo artist that people didn't expect he could be a Zico like I truly feel that way and I don't know why but I just feel that way so there's that <sighs> Jay he has potential I think he would be an amazing rapper big hit is picking on potential so I'm gonna say Jay the fifth person in this 12 person group that I want is Jake he killed it 
killed it when he was dancing. When he first stepped on that stage for the entrance thing that they did, the first episode, he killed it. I want him to be an island. So I just looked it up. Jake apparently is a rapper. So if that's the case, I cannot wait till the episode where people rap. I cannot wait because my two biases, ultimate bias is Ratmon. Second bias overall is actually Tao from EXO. I can't, I can't talk about this right now. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't the video to talk about it. The sixth member of Island that I want to debut would be Gunu because if you watch the fourth episode, you would know this man is an amazing vocalist. Oh my goodness, he, like I just wanna pinch his cheeks. His name is Sanu and he just is the sweetest like, oh my gosh, I think he was the one that did ballet. He's a dancer, his vocals in the um, last episode, episode four has truly amazed me. Episode five comes out this week. But I'm truly amazed by Sanu, truly amazed, truly amazed. Wow, he needs to debut. So the last person that I have in mind to debut for my ideal group in Island, I say last person because I'm not sure about the other people. I feel like I have to be exposed to them a lot more and see their talents. But the very last person, and it's only due to this most recent episode, episode four, is Daniel. Daniel saved <laughs> a ground. I don't know, it's something about Daniel I just connect with. I just see his vision. I just, I see what he can be. I see the potential. So I have picked out eight members that I really want or eight people that I really want to be members of Island. Um, Nikki would be that ninth member. However, he's very headstrong and that can be a good and a bad thing. He sees it one way and that's his way. <laughs> uh, but I know why. I just found out why that is. So I used to be one of those people that are like, yeah, screw zodiac signs. It doesn't make sense. But as of recent, I've been kind of like, hmm, this is a little too convenient that this like description matches up with this person. So I'm gonna say this. And I can say this because I relate. He's a Sagittarius. He was born December 9th. I'm a Sagittarius. I was born December 21st. Yes, shout out to all Sagittarius out there. But I get it. And I wondered why I got Nikki, but I I don't demonize Nikki. I don't see Nikki in like some horrible bad light that the show kind of made him seem like he just backstabber mean, kind of like threw Taki under the bus, you know, kind of like that. I saw what I feel like everybody didn't want to see, which is his strength in trying hard to make good decisions, like for the betterment of the group. Now, he, like I, <laughs> You know, he values friendships, but in but overall, he wants to look at, will this positively affect the outcome? Sagittarii, <laughs> Sagittarius is, I don't know, Sagittarius, we're naturally born leaders. So I see that he just instantly feels the need to be like, oh, I'm, I'm coming up into this position. I came from island, I'm in ground. It's time for me to run the show. Like I get it but like fall back, you know, just, just fall back because I want to see your strength individually. Although I will say as a leader, he's, he's, he has good intentions. I just need for him to value other people's opinions. Now, you know, J-Ho shouldn't be dancing. And then Han Bin is like, you know, I don't think we should do that. If he's telling you, I don't think we should do that, you should probably just listen. <laughs> it's okay. If he's like, no, I don't wanna take that position, work with J-Ho some more. And 
you know, he, he didn't feel confident. If Hanbin didn't feel so confident, I wouldn't want somebody who's not confident enough to show their skill in front of the producers. I would not want them. I would not want that person to actually get up and in less than two days, I think maybe they had only two days to practice, to get up and now show them, okay, this is gonna be our stage that makes or breaks uh, who gets into island. I just, Nikki, you are strong. You're a fellow Sagittarius, but I'm gonna need you to just scale back just a little bit, just just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit. But I, I see the potential, I really do. But that's it for my ideal members to debut. The underdogs that I kinda wanna see shine, and they mention their names maybe once or twice, and I think they've been in Island, um, these people that I'm about to say, but it is it is Yoon Won and EJ. Um, I just want to see more. I feel like, I really didn't, um, I really didn't like Yoon at first, but maybe if I just got to see more from him, the underdog, you know, like maybe if I could just see more, I would be good to go. EJ, I think he could definitely be brought out more. Nicholas. I think can also be brought out more as well. Put in the comments down below who you think some underdogs are in Island and who you think should debut in Island. Um, I would like to know because I want to start focusing on people outside of my range of like vision. And if I need to look at somebody and see what they're hitting for, let me know because um, I want to be like, oh yeah, Nicholas, look at him do that. Like, they don't show that. Like, he's in the back trying his hardest and they didn't pan in on him. So let me know down below, like, who should I really be looking at? Um, who should I give the benefit of the doubt? And finally, let's talk performances. The fire performance by, done by Island was amazing. Hee-sun sold that last look at the end. The fire performance was awesome. Hee-sun and Gunnu did really good in the most recent episode, episode four. Stellar performance, um, my favorite performance uh, vocally. And one last performance, I actually think the very first performance was really cool because of the moving um, floor. So those are my top three performances so far. Finally, I'm gonna end on Big Hit's budget. Wow, like, <laughs> I'm just shocked. I'm really shocked that, I guess like shocked, but then not shocked, but how did you go from being so small, like underdog, if we're gonna talk underdogs, like Big Hit was truly an underdog, nobody cared. I mean, if they didn't care up until a certain point with, um, you know, BTS hitting it off really well in Korea, internationally really, but they didn't really care. When you're a part of the big three, you know, there's so much hype around you. Big Hit really came in with a force and it's like, as if to say, now we're the big four, you know? And it's just like, whoa, their production quality. It's like watching a movie. If you look at BTS's music videos, um, there was a point where they started using like a scrolling camera and like you can, it's like a very fluid movement type camera. They did a behind the scenes on um, one YouTube video I was watching. And they also incorporated that into the production of Island um, or like the filming of Island, they just did that scrolling thing and looked up at the sky and then they have the uh, drone looking down at the two buildings and it's just like, whoa, this isn't some like rinky-dink survival show. The money acquired from BTS's amazing performances actually brought about. This is, this is money. This is money, this is wealth. And I'm here for it, I'm really here for it. I'm willing to do an update to see like if there's anything dramatic that happens within the show, like if that changes my mind on anything. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Island and everything that I mentioned before with who you want to debut, who's your bias, and whatnot. So let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.